a previous video, I showed you how you could use the Dynamic Shield to control AX smart servos and read data from them. In that tutorial, we used the Move and Move Speed methods to send commands to each individual servo. While that allows us to control the movements of the servos, it's not a very efficient way of sending them data. To control a robot, you often need to update a lot of servos as quickly as possible. Having to send a full packet with a header and footer for every single servo results in a lot of overhead. What would be better is if you could simply send one move command that you would specify the position and velocity settings for all of the servos that you wanted to move in a single packet. Luckily, there is a way to do that with the smart servos. It's called Synchronous Write. The Dynamic Serial class supports this mode and has methods to make it very easy for you to package up which motors you want to move and how they should move. Then you send that off all at the same time using a synchronous move packet. Let's take a look at how to do that. First, let's set up our hardware. We'll use two Dynamic Cell AX12 servos. They're daisy chained together. We'll connect them to our shield. Then we'll plug in a 12 volt power supply. And connect our USB from the computer to the programming port of our Arduino. That completes the hardware hookup, so now let's take a look at the sketch. Let's go into our Dynamic Shield repo, Sketches folder, and then load the Dynamic Cell Test Sync Move Sketch. This is a simple sketch. It first includes a Dynamic Serial Library class. If you've not already added that, then please watch the first video to see what needs to be done. It then defines the IDs for the servers we'll be using. Then creates the dynamic serial object. Within setup, it starts the debug serial line and calls begin on the dynamic serial object. Then it calls the move command to recenter our two servos. Within the loop method, we'll begin using the synchronous write methods. To perform a synchronous write, you must first let the dynamic serial class know that you'd like to start a write operation by calling the start sync write method. You can perform a write and set only positions, or do it with both positions and velocities. This is controlled by a boolean that's passed into this method. We'll be setting both positions and velocities here. After you've started to write, then you need to call the add servo to sync method. You can add as many or as few servos here as you wish. For instance, one time you may want to move five servos, but the next time only two. You just have to call the add method for whatever servos that need to be added. Its parameters are just like the move speed command. You give it the servo ID, the goal position, and the goal velocity. However, unlike the move speed method, it does not send anything to the servo yet. Once you've specified all of your servos using the add methods, you then call the write sync data. This is when the data is actually transmitted to the servo using a sync write command. For this sketch, we send a command to both servos, wait a bit, and then do the same thing to move them to different positions. Let's go ahead and take a look at this in action by downloading the sketch.
So now we have both servos moving by using synchronous write. This is a much more efficient method of sending write commands to your servos. If you like the Dynamic Shield, then please support my Kickstarter for it so I can get these boards produced and available for others to use. Thanks for watching.